for this fishing lure I'm going to wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol. It'll leave it nice and clean and it'll be ready for the next step and we'll dry that with a hairdryer. You may need to use an adhesion promoter depending on the lures you have or even sanding. I'm going to create a pretty outrageous paint job on this particular lure. But what we're going to do first, we have to undercoat it. So we're going to use Autoborn Seal of Burgundy. And we're going to give that a couple of coats drying between coats. We've reduced that by about 20% with High Performance Reducer. And for our hardware, we're going to use the Iwata Neo TRN2. It's a 0.5mm, which is perfectly matched to these paints. And as far as the trigger is concerned, it's very much like a spray gun. When you release the trigger, your air and your material stops. When you pull back, you get material. It's very easy to use for somebody that's new to the industry or even an accomplished artist. I've selected Auto Air Colors Iridescent Apple Red for the color. It'll cover very quickly over the top of the burgundy, so a good couple of coats was all we'll need. And we'll dry that in between coats, and that has been reduced by about 10% with high performance reducer, still using TRN2.5 mil Neo. I've cleaned my Neo TRN2 out, and I've now got in there Auto Air Colors Flare Silver Spectrum. And as I've said in other videos, this color is absolutely super crazy. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a coat down the top of the flank, going to build it up so it covers reasonably well but not completely, and we're going to dust the lure. And this is a holographics kind of flake, so what will happen is no matter where it goes in the water column with the sun hitting on it, it'll just reflect that it's going to be absolutely nuts. So I want my lines on this particular lure to end up being the silver spectrum and you'll just have to watch and see how this pans out but the paint's only a couple of minutes dry and we're going to mask it up with V-Tape. V-Tape is from Autoware Colors and it can conform around a five cent piece so you can mask up a design very tightly here. Now you'll find this in the masking section on the website at airbrushmegastore.com. So the only way to make these lines silver spectrum to stand out is to go back to the Autoware Colors iridescent apple red and to put another couple of coats over the top of the whole lure. And we don't have to flood it, we don't have to knock the whole lot of the spectrum out, just knock it back so there's a distinct difference between the line and what's on the outside of the line. We're now going to put down a whole stack of colour on this lure. So we're going to use the R-Tool stencils, the Texture FX Minis. And we can arrange this however we wish. We can put down little bits and pieces all over the shop in different colours through the different designs that are on the actual same stencil there are so many variables here but we're going to use Wicked Colors Pearls and they're going to be reduced by about 10% then we're going to start off with black we're going to move to white, orange, then with yellow, some green, some blue, some red and some plum so this is going to be a very bright outrageous lure but sort of move around the lure as you do it don't just focus on one spot otherwise you're going to end up with color saturation in one area and it's going to look odd so move it around do little bits and pieces and then change colors now for the moment of bling, I'm just going to go back to the Autoway Colors Silver Spectrum, the flare color, and I'm just going to tint over the top of all the design, so the whole lure will get a couple of very light coats, that way there'll be a bit of shine no matter where you look on this lure. And now the moment of truth, we're going to pull off all the masking, and this will tell you whether or not our prep work was done correctly, and as you can see all the masking tape comes off, no problem at all, no paint peeled. And now the silver spectrum, the lines are the hero, and then the dusting silver spectrum over the entire lure. This is going to look pretty crazy out in the sun when it's cleared. It's time to bring these colours to life with clear coat. So the products you've been using, they're all water-based base coats, but they are all automotive grade pigments, which means you can use acrylic lacquer clear, you can use two-pack clear, you can dip them, you can have a look at YouTube, you will find there's many different ways to clear coat your fishing lures. But for this job, I'm going to use the acrylic lacquer clear that I found at Super Cheap Autos, it's Dupla Color, and it works very well with these paints, and it doesn't go yellow. A little bit about acrylic lacquer clear. If you've got warm to hot conditions, you can follow the manufacturer's specifications and you'll get a good result. 
but if you've got cold conditions like we've got now we've got two degrees here right now which means the substrate temperature of the fishing lure is going to be lower than that if i try to clear it what's going to happen is the clear is going to either react and crocodile or it's going to crack it's not the paint we've put on it's going to be the clear coat reacting to the cold weather so what we're going to do is we're going to warm the fishing lure up by putting a fan heater in the area and then we're going to put on a couple of coats, drying them with a hairdryer in between coats. And that's only going to take 10 to 15 seconds. Then we're going to build up our coats until we get it nice and glossy. Now, if you go for a really saturated coat, it is possible you can get bloom, being the fact that it's so cold and that it's going to be a white tinge. So I suggest you build up your coats medium to wet. And then when you've got it to a stage that you're happy with, call it done. These are the products we use to create our fishing lures and they're all found at airbrushmegastore.com except for the acrylic lacquer clear. If you need something you can't find it, send me an email, info at airbrushmegastore.com. I'm there to answer your questions. But for this kit, we use the old Water Power Jet Pro. It's strong enough to run all day long. It comes with two different air lines on the unit, which means you can run a different air pressure to either side. That is suitable because we wanted to use the old Water Trigger airbrushes. They're both Neos. Why do we use these? Well, being a trigger, when you release the trigger, the airflow and the material stops. So if you're a beginner airbrush artist, you can get great results immediately. If you try to go straight to a trigger airbrush on top of the airbrush, you're going to find that it's going to be harder to use. It's going to take a lot longer to get the knack of it. Don't let that put you off. If that's what you want to do, go for it. But the trigger on the front of the airbrush allows you to get results very quickly. Now, as far as the needle sizes, we used a 0.5 mil and a 0.35 mil. So the 0.5 mil you'd use for your undercoats and your flakes, and the 0.35 mil you would use that for doing your more detailed work. So after this, we used the Autoborn sealers as our undercoat. We used AutoWear colors, Wicked colors, and Illustration colors as our paint job colors. We used V-Tape to tape up our designs, and we also used the AutoWear Snacks Fishing Lure stencil set. Everyone needs to have these. It comes with a multitude of stencils in that set, different sizes. You can create your scales, your gill rakes, multiple designs. I can't see you doing fishing lures without them. And then we used a variety of Artool stencils, which gave us a great deal of different designs. So if you want to get the results that you've seen in this video, grab this gear and you'll get professional results too.